Okay, so let's talk about the burpee. I've been asked recently, how do you burpee like a pro? So let's cover what is a burpee. We're gonna talk about uh, efficiency with the burpee, how we can be more efficient, and then some movements that we can do to train and get stronger in the burpee in general. So what is a burpee? If you search the internet, you'll see a lot of people describe it as uh, going into a squat position, then reaching a plank position. Um, it's not either one of those things, right? Because a squat is a squat, a plank is a plank. But you do hit those body positions when performing a burpee. A burpee is simply starting in a standing position. We're going to make our way to the floor, and we're going to return to a standing position with a locked out full hip extension. Some competitions and races require you to jump hands over head to a certain height, but we want to make sure that we get our hips fully extended. So again, what is a burpee? We stand, we make it to the floor, and we make it back up, jumping, hands over head. So, breaking the burpee down then, um, two things, talk about efficiency, two things that I have seen as a coach and, and have experienced myself that slow the burpee down and use more energy than we need to use while we're performing it. One is going to be focusing on lowering yourself to the floor too much, right? We don't need to focus on lowering ourselves to the floor because gravity is going to take us there anyway. So controlling it enough, but not overly controlling it, and this is what I mean. A lot of times you'll see this, where we actually do jump out into a plank position, and we lower ourselves down, and we push up like a push up, we come back in and we step back in and then we jump overhead. And we will talk about regressions too in just a moment. How do we regress and progress to a full burpee? But when we are lowering to the floor, less effort placed on going to the ground. Again, gravity is gonna carry us there. So for example, less effort. I'm to the floor. I didn't smash my face in the floor, right? But I got down there without using a lot of strength to get there. And the opposite of that, I'm gonna lower myself to the floor. That, over time is going to be very fatiguing. So let gravity carry you to the floor. Step one. Step two then, another thing to create better efficiency is to have a wider stance in your burpee. So a lot of times you'll see this, and I, I had done this too when I first started doing burpees, is I would come down and I would come here and jump out. My feet are super narrow. I'd lower, I'd press, I'd jump back in, and I'd stand back up. So I learned that, and I'm around five foot eight, and even if it's a small difference, I just cut some length off of this, right? The distance that I have to get to the floor. So when I'm coming down, legs are wide. I'm gonna come back up, using my hips to thrust my feet back in, standing and returning. Again, less effort to the floor, bring the feet in, standing and jumping. So regressions really quick to the burpee for someone who's just starting out. You're gonna place the hands here. You're gonna walk out, you're gonna walk in and stay up, okay? From there, you can walk out. You can do a lowering push-up. Remember, less effort, come back up. Step in, and then work your way towards the actual burpee. So, exercises and things that you can do to strengthen the burpee movement. So we'll start negative push-ups. So in our negative push-up, ideally we'd like to have a straight line from our ankles through our knees, hips to shoulders. We're going to slowly lower down like your body's stuck in honey, right? Controlling the descent to the floor. I know it contradicts what I just said, but still having strength and control to the ground is important. So negative push-ups. Reset. Body stuck in honey. All the way to the floor. So that's the lowering portion of the burpee. Um, core strength in general is very important. So we'll talk about... Um, how to create that. So in our burpee, when you see someone press back up, we say it's not an actual push-up where the body is super straight. A lot of times you'll see athletes do this and they arch the back, which we always say, like as a personal trainer, I was like, don't arch your back, you're gonna hurt yourself. It's okay here and this is why. So it's called global uh, extension, global flexion. Those are two things you're gonna work on in strengthening this portion of a burpee and staying safe, right, for your lower back. Um, and it all has to do with core strength. So, movements, uh, hollow rocks, hollow holds, it's essentially global flexion, so from fingertip to toe, we're fully engaged like this big bow, okay? It looks like this, 
where we're connected to the floor. If that's difficult for you, or you feel as if there's a big gap in your lower back and you can't hold it, the way to get to a hollow hold position would be to start here. Draw your knees in towards your chest. We're facing up, by the way. It's called supine position. The word up is in supine. You know, you're facing up. So start here. Draw the knees in. Lift the shoulders off the ground so that your lower lumbar spine connects to the floor. We're going to bring one arm back, other arm back, and start to come out and connect. Okay, if that's difficult, you can go one leg, or you can simply crunch up, connect the lower lumbar, eventually you'll be able to stretch out. But the point is that from fingertip to toe, you're fully engaged. So the front half of your body is being strengthened. Opposite of that would be global extension. Same thing, fingertip to toe. Now we're facing the crown. We're going to stretch Superman. You guys have done these probably. But pull your legs together, point your toes, fully extend. This is global extension. So you've got global flexion, hollow hold, global extension. You can work your sides, right? So side planks, opposite side. Um, below, you'll see some basic workouts you guys can do to strengthen those movements. Uh, so we've got our negative push-ups. Regular push-ups are gonna help strengthen our upper body to push off the ground. You've got these hollow holds, these extensions, these side planks, and then the other one that I'll show you in just a second, we'll walk over here, is going to strengthen from here. When you bring your feet in, there's a snap where you're snapping your hips closed. I love this movement, come on over here. My daughter is recording things too there. Um, so anything, you can use towels, right? I just grabbed towels out of the closet. You can use um, one of the large uh, inflatable balls. Just the movement is what you're working on. So find your plank position, and you're gonna focus on piking in, coming back up. Pike, come back up. Okay? So that's gonna strengthen being able to draw those hips in fast, creating more efficiency, having a stronger, better burpee. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to me, Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at OCRtraining.com.